what I've heard over and over again from practitioners is that unless the parents are on board, the, nothing's going to change for the kid, right? If the parent loves pizza, they're not going to start serving salad, right? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Food, food is, is where we need to start with these kids. And it's the easiest thing to talk about and the hardest thing to change. Right. If you, if you have an allergy panel result that comes back that says that your child is gluten sensitive, for example, um, and you come from, let's call it an Italian family sure. where, pa where pasta is just part of culture and part mm -hmm. of being in the fold of the family. If you're going to now tell them that they can't have grandma's lasagna on Sunday night, um, that's going to cause some friction for sure. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we are limited to, you know, what the parents will do uh, for them, you know, for their kids. If the kids are a little older, sometimes the kids, you know, you know, certainly if they're teens, they want to take this on themselves perhaps. But uh, when the kids are younger, for sure, it's up, it's up to the parents. And these changes are difficult. It's not an easy road at all in the beginning. But if you don't start, I mean, if you just start throwing medication or even supplements for that matter at these kids without addressing what's going into them nutritionally on a daily basis, you're spinning your tires. I hope you enjoyed that highlight from a recent program on Nutramedica. If you want to get access to our full length shows and live interactive events, you'll need to register as a healthcare professional at Nutramedica.org. To stay up to date with our latest programs, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. We'll see you soon at Nutramedica.org.